Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a hydraulics hydrology problem. We're going to be talking a little bit about some runoff analysis. It should be a super simple, straightforward problem. Here's what the question says. Uh, determine the curve number for an open lawn that is in good condition, uh, hydraulic soil group C, so that's what that HSG stands for, uh, and has approximately 80% ground cover. And then we see our four options available to us. So the trick to this one is finding the stuff in the manual or the handbooks rather. Um, and if you're taking the FE, they're actually not going to provide you this in the handbook. You're going to uh, be provided this in the problem. So uh, it's not in the handbook. You're not going to find it there, but they're going to give you, if they ask for this, they're going to give you, um, you know, if you're solving for the runoff or something like that, they're going to give you that curve number. You can't find that in the handbook. So um, in this case, they would probably give you the chart. Um, since this is going to be an FE or a PE problem, I wanted to practice with the PE finding that chart. And uh, But if you're taking the FE, it should be pretty straightforward. They'll give you the chart. So um, if you're looking for some reading material in the FE or the PE uh, handbooks, in the FE reference handbook, we're going to be looking in, let's see, page, we need to be looking in version 10.2. It's the latest and greatest at the time of this video. And we need to look at page 290. So again, you're not going to find a, uh, the chart, but you will find the runoff equation uh, for the SCS method. That's what this curve number is referencing. So uh, they'll have to provide you with the table. So the PE reference handbook, we're going to be looking in uh, also the second version. So version 1.2, make sure you've got that one pulled. Make sure you're looking at the right one. This is going to be page 387, all right? And this is going to be with the flow uh calculations okay so this is for flow rate i'll just write q right there uh or there's another page where you're going to find the table so 390 again this is going to be a super easy one this should be one that you knock out very quickly okay so here's the table all right so with that said let's go ahead and take a look at what that table looks like remember we're looking at an open lawn good condition hsgc uh and uh and approximately 80 percent ground cover all right, and the magic of technology, we are here. So uh, remember, we are looking for, let's see, an open lawn. So that's going to tell us a little bit about some of this. Maybe here is where we're going to be looking, something like that. Uh, it says it's in good condition. Okay, so maybe we're you know going to be rotten here. Uh, and then it says it's HSGC, approximately 80% ground cover. All right, so this is 75% or more. All right, and HSGC is this guy right here. Remember, hydraulic soil group. So they don't have to, you just need to understand. They don't have to spell it out for you. You need to understand HSG stands for hydraulic soil group. So we're under C there. We need to drag our little um, arrow down, and it looks like our curve number is 74. So just to break, down, th break that down again, it says it was an open lawn. So fully developed urban area. Um, it's an open space. So that was kind of a hint. Lawn. That was a hint, so we know that we're going to be sort of in this area, we think. I mean, look at the other ones. We've got paved parking lots. That's not applicable. Uh, we've got commercial, um, townhouses, you know, uh, developing urban areas. We, we don't really, that's not really applicable. And by the way, if you're taking the PE, there are several other sheets along with this. So make sure you just double check those other sheets as well. So, um, yeah, so open lawn, good condition, HSGC, approximately 80% ground cover, that is going to be our C in that 74. So let's go back to the problem. And we're back. And it looks like this one's going to be B. All right. So I hope this video helps. Hope it clears some things up. We'll catch you next time. 